Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Matthew. And our project is called Myopia Nearsightedness. Nearsightedness or myopia is the most common refractive error of the eye, and it has become more prevalent in recent years. In fact, a recent study by the National Eye Institute, NEI, shows the prevalence of myopia grew from 25% of the U.S. population ages 12 to 54 in 1971 to 1972, a whopping 41.6% in 1999 to 2004. Though the exact cause for this increase in nearsightedness among Americans is unknown, many eye doctors feel it has something to do with the eye fatigue from computer use and other extended near visions tasked with a genetic presupposition for myopia. Myopia, myopia symptoms, symptoms and signs. If you are nearsighted, you typically will have difficulty reading road signs and seeing distant objects clearly, but you will be able to see well clo for close-up tasks such as reading and computer use. Other signs and symptoms of myopia including squinting, eye strain, and headaches. Feeling fatigued when driving or playing sports also can be a symptom of uncorrected nearsightedness. If you experience these signs or symptoms while wearing your eyeglasses or contact lenses, schedule a comprehensive eye examination with your optometrist or ophthalmologist to see if you need a stronger prescription. Myopia typically begins in childhood, and you may have a higher risk if your parents are nearsighted. In most cases, nearsightedness stabilizes in early adulthood, but sometimes it continues to progress with age. What, what causes, causes myopia? Myopia occurs when the eyeball is too long relative to the focusing power of the cornea and lens of the eye. This causes light rays to focus at a point in front of the retina rather than directly on its surface. Newsightedness also can be caused by the cornea and or lens being too curved for the length of the eyeball. In some cases, myopia is due to a combination of these factors. Myopia, myopia treatment. treatment Nearsightedness can be corrected with glasses, contact lenses, or refractive surgery depending on the degree of your myopia. You may need to wear your glasses or contact lenses all the time or only when you need very clear distance vision, like when driving, seeing a chalkboard, or watching a movie. If you're nearsighted, the first number sphere on your eyeglass prescription or contact lens prescription will be preceded by a minus sign. The higher number, the more nearsighted you are. Refractive surgery can reduce or even eliminate your need for glasses or contacts. The most common procedures are performed with an eczema laser. In PRK, the laser removes a layer of corneal tissue, which flattens the cornea and allows light rays to focus more accurately on the retina. In LAISK, the most common refractive procedure, a thin flap is created on the surface of the cornea. A laser removes the some corneal tissue, and the flap is returned to its original position. Then there's orthokeratology, a non-surgical procedure where you wear special rigid gas permeable RGP or GP contact lenses at night that reshape your cornea while you sleep. When you remove the lenses in the morning, your cornea temporarily retains the new shape so you can see clearly during the day without glasses or contact lenses.